How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking on the stage two of the fearsome activation shell max. We're hopping into our JP account for this. It's a brand new stage and it's probably one of the trickier stages we've got. Basically, this dude has three million damage on his supers, one million on his normals. He's got damage reduction against AGL types. Like he's got the works. Um, so I know many of you guys play, booted up a JP account in order to take down, um, a lot of these new events and play with the Beast Gohan and whatnot, so I figured I'd get this guide out for those of you trying this mission out. So we're running this team with, you know, mid-level Link characters and basically an entire team of characters that we would have pulled during this anniversary. So let's go ahead, let's see how we do here. All right, so we do have Orange Piccolo here, um, but he is being run as a friend lead. I feel like this is probably the best way to go about this, um, simply given uh, what we need for this fight, right? Because of the insane amount of damage reduction he has, we actually really, really need um, Piccolo uh, to help Gohan get that unit super, but also to give us that giant form. Um, I feel like that turn three giant form is going to be very, very helpful for us getting through here. It does mean guys like UI Goku here are only on a 170. Um, well, like half a 200% lead, because they're on Gohan's 200% lead, but um, it's really the only way I figured we could do this. There we go. We get the dodge. We get the dodge. Excellent. All right, now the thing I'm unsure of with the this guy here, he's the, like the only tech unit I could possibly bring to this fight, and he does no damage. Oh, wow, he still takes a lot on normals, but that's okay. Like The idea here is to get Beast Gohan and all these target skills up to protect him, and I think we'll be okay. All right, here we go. All right, so if it wasn't clear already, we are taking down the Rainbow Team mission. So this is the mission for basically anybody. Who, uh, I, I decided to put this team together for anyone who may have started during the anniversary. And you're basically looking for a way to clear this event, right? So every unit on this team is a unit I pulled this anniversary because that's when I started this account. So for those of you out here on JP watching, maybe you just started JP during this anniversary and so the you've got some of these units or maybe, you know, you're watching this in the future on global and you want to see how to clear it with, you know, m minimum uh, requirements. Now, I will say Beast is helpful, but as you see here, we're only running one Beast, one Piccolo lead. Like, so if you don't pull, if you don't pull Beast Gohan, the idea here is you can still use, like, Piccolo as your lead and then run, um, you know, Beast Gohan as a friend. So we're doing it the opposite. We're running our Beast Gohan and a friend Piccolo. Alright, now, I think Gogeta is okay here on the normals. Um, I don't want him to take a super... I'd be concerned about that. And I'm not sure how many times this dude can super either. Okay, we're good. Alright. Um, looks like it's just once per turn. So it's not like the other Cell Max phase where he can do it twice per turn. So we can live with that. Um... I will say though, like the the interesting thing about this fight is he is he has this weird ability to um, basically the more health he loses, the different effects he gets. And I'm not really sure which type of effects he gets, right? Um, because we've never done this before. Oh wow, we can proc the revive already. Okay. Um, oh, because that's right, it's only seventy seven percent. I forget that. Okay. Um, I don't want to put him in harm's way. 
So this is probably for the best. There we go. This way we can just kind of keep capping up on health. Um, there we go. Alright, let's do that. Alright, now, God Goku really is not good for this event, but he's literally the only tech-type unit I have. So, you know, we kind of kind of make do. But, I mean, it's working so far. And honestly, I mean, we'll push for the no-item run, but, I mean, looking at this, we may not have a choice. <laughs> There we go. Oh wow, okay, got Goku. Er, UI Goku, the one attack he doesn't dodge. There we go. Ah, oh, come on! Well, okay, we got the revive. I didn't want to do it now, though. I guess the sooner the better, though, right? Now this just means we have a god rotation next time when we show up, but we also have Beast Gohan's active right here, so what I think we do is we send off Piccolo. Um, we do this so we can let Gogeta build safely. All right, um, there we go. So many attacks, I really... Do we leave Piccolo on? So we got UI, no, we don't, we need to put him off. All right, well, it's not as much attacks as I want, but uh, we'll have to take it. There we go. So we get a nice little heal with Beast Gohan too here. Ooh, actually, this worked out real nice. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take two hits over no hits. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get some defense build, and then remember, next turn, we'll get Gogeta transform into Gogeta Blue, where he'll have 70% chance to dodge. So if we can just survive that dodge turn, we can get to his target skill. Um, I think we'll, we'll be okay. And I'm kind of hoping the rotations work out. We'll, we'll see how they go. If the rotations don't work out on the next turn, we will use the item to protect. Um, of course. How do I Honestly, how does Beast do this soup? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all right then. I was not anticipating that. <laughs> but we'll take it. That's a 3 million super, by the way. Alright, but we will take this. We'll get some good damage out of this. There we go. And then we get the action cancel. That's right, I forgot. Oh, maybe we should have kept Piccolo on. And sent off Gogeta. But I feel like we need Gogeta, don't we? Yeah, it is what it is. Now, unfortunately, I'm a bit concerned because by the time he shows up again, his passive will be gone. But we can do his giant form that turn, so we might actually be okay. Oh, he can be attack lowered. Huh. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, about the defense. It's it's literally just a war of attrition. Okay. I'm digging this. Oh, perfect. Then we can get God Goku off safely. Okay. How much? We'll save it for next turn. Let's, let's wait. Alright, let's do that with him. And then... There we go. How are these guys looking anyways? Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. We get the dodge. Perfect. That's literally all we ever need. It's just that one dodge. Perfect. I almost wonder if maybe we should see Vegeta on this rotation with... Hmm, how do we do this? Because we have the STR UI Goku. I feel like I want this guy and Vegeta together, um, but it might be better to switch them up. Have Dodge Tank one turn with Gogeta, and then have this guy with Gohan. I'm not sure. Yeah. I feel like next turn we could be okay using the active skill. 
I don't feel like he's taken enough just yet to warrant it. There we go. Look at us go. Would have liked a couple more supers out of UI Goku, but we'll take this. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, we can seal him now. Okay, so it gets progressively easier. So it starts out really hard, but then it just gets... Okay, I can dig this. All right, let's go ahead and let's use Gogeta then. There we go. Alright, and again, we are not getting any attacks pre-super on Gohan. That's crazy. Alright, let's do that. Okay, and I just need this guy to not screw the pooch and not do dodge. There we go. We're putting out some damage here on Beast. Would have been nice if we could have do the other stuff. Alright, ooh, look... And we are effective against all types, too, so we should actually be okay here. And the next turn, we can do the target skill. There we go. There we go. And remember, some of these guys are only on the 170. Gogeta and Gohan are on the 200 full, right? But, like... I feel like I probably should have put Gogeta as the leader, just to cover... Well, actually, it's pretty much the same with who we're using. I don't think it matters. Look at us go. Alright, and we get the dodge. Nice. We get the dodge. Alright, UI Goku, it's up to you, man. I just need you to not miss a dodge. Or at least get a few in first. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So now, I'm pretty comfortable using this, the active skills, but we're going to do Orange Piccolo first. Alrighty. And look at this, this is turn 7, so even though it's one phase, this is kind of a long fight. Um, I dig it. Okay. I'm actually really liking this fight. This is this is an interesting concept, right? It's basically wear them down and do the best you can to survive until you can turn the tables in your favor. This is interesting. I like this fight. This is way... Way less toxic than the previous one, <laughs> Cell Max fight. Oh wow, we don't do any damage. There was absolutely no point to doing that. Okay, so apparently at some point... He gains the ability to reduce damage? What is that? Nullify... So it doesn't mention anything about this on the wiki here. Interesting. Yeah, so we're just not going to do any damage here whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, there we go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's just not doing that damage. So basically, you need to crit. Alright, this one might not do so much damage. Alright, well, at least we'll get the 18 key. There we go. Jeez.
All right. Uh, we did a little bit of damage, not much. What is his full HP anyways? Oh, he's got 300 million HP, wow. Yeah, so that's how they turn this into a long fight. They just gave him 300 million HP, okay. All right, so let's do Vegeta's active skill. Let's start with that. Okay. Alright, now let's do UI Goku's. Alright, nice. That's pretty good considering he's reducing damage from us. Okay, so now the question is, who do we put in front? I guess we keep him, huh? We just keep dodge tanking it, yeah. There we go. Got that. And then, boom, this way we get the 24 key. Alright, excellent. There we go. And it's like, literally, we just need that. You just need that first dodge with him, and you're basically golden. Excellent, okay. Nice. And we get the additional super. And remember, this is going to increase our critical hit chance for two turns. So this is going to help everybody else out. So now I understand why they made that two turns for this guys on, the, on their ECA. To help with this fight. Um, because it does seem like in order to really deal damage with him, you need those critical hits. So, I get it. it it's starting to make sense now why these units are doing what they do. Ooh, look at that. See... AGL UI Goku could do a lot more, but remember, the he's got that damage reduction. It's 30%. I think I said 80% earlier. It's 30%. Very nice. And then, obviously, we know no supers are coming this turn, so that's good. But we revived a little bit early, but look at that. So we're still at a point where he can be attack and defense lowered, so that's helpful. I'm curious what he gained. Look, there we go. Okay, nice. All right, and then of course we have Gogeta's uh, skill. So let's go ahead and let's use Gogeta's active. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so remember, we have guaranteed dodge on this turn, so what we're going to do, we're going to do this, we're going to put Beast here, um, we're going to put him in the first slot, so that way we can build up the critical hit chance that we've already got, so basically, auto crit here, um, and let's grab that, and I... Be surprised if we don't actually take him down this turn, especially with Gogeta about to unleash a f onslaught of attacks previous uh, following uh, Gohan here, so I wouldn't be surprised. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. And we actually just recently got our Gogeta to 79% too, so I'm happy about this. There we go. We get an additional super here. All right, look at him go. He's not stopping. Oh, wouldn't it be awesome if we just? Oh, I was just gonna say it'd be awesome if we could keep going and get that KO screen, but no, we couldn't get it. Okay, all right, well. I guess I was wrong. We aren't finishing up this turn. Oh, can we still seal him? Tell me we can still seal him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are golden. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. 
We're gonna chuck Vegeta in front this time, because I want the KO with UI Goku. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not happening. Alright, well, we're getting the KO with our boy Vegeta. You know what? I'll take that. I can't even be mad about that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, looks like Vegeta's getting our KO. So nine turns it took us to complete this mission. Now, this isn't the six-turn mission. I know that. Uh, there is a mission to complete six turns. And we could probably do it with a different team setup if we had some more powerful units. But for this first one, I kind of just wanted to show you guys how to complete it with the Rainbow Team mission. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. That means we don't get the KO screen. Oh, yeah! Okay, we still get UI Goku's KO screen. Sweet. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I just wanted to show you guys the rainbow team clear. There we go. Look at that. Oh, what a perfect way to end this run. What a perfect way to end this run. Oh, it's so beautiful. I do like his KO screen. I think... Yeah. Gogeta's 12 key. This one. And... Uh, Super Full Power Saiyan 4. KO screens, I think are some of my favorites. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Let's collect up our sweet mission rewards here. So there you have it, folks. There is the Rainbow Team mission for the new Cell Max Stage 2. It's a rather difficult fight, especially if you're a new player. I don't expect many people to be getting this on the first try. Heck, I don't expect many people to be getting the six turn mission right away this one's gonna take some bit uh it's, it's gonna take a bit of doing i think there's like a special pose i think there's new category missions too i'm not quite sure what they are um but i know for sure you have to do extreme types um and it, rainbow and super types rainbow and then you also have to clear um within six turns so we i think if we run the double beast setup we could probably do it but i wanted to kind of try this out because we needed um I, I felt like the giant form was necessary and i didn't have my own piccolo but hey that's how you do it guys so if you just started this anniversary every single unit i have here is a unit you could have pulled on one of the banners and probably help you to complete this mission i really do like this fight honestly there isn't a single ninth anniversary fight that i dread going into some of them are a little bit harder um but i definitely like this one i like the idea behind it is basically the fight starts off as hard as it can be and then gets progressively easier. And I'm glad they didn't give him AoEs or anything like that. Good God. Could you imagine 1 million AoEs? Um, but I, I, I like the concept behind this. It starts hard. It gets gradually easier. And you can begin kind of working your strategy. And this opens up a lot of possibilities for different units. Like the Goku here. Even though he's not really tanking hits. The fact that he's a guaranteed seal for us. Actually ended up helping us a lot. Um, so even though he can't really tank hits or deal damage, a guaranteed seal was more than enough to help us through those final turns. So very, very helpful there. So guys, that is it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know if you are on JP right now in February taking down this mission. What was the team you used to get the rainbow team clear for the super class? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're watching this in the future on global tokon and you haven't checked out any of my global related videos let me know what uh how this compares to the way it looks on global uh are we doing better now let me know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha